What's up, Ranger Nation? It's your boy JB. It's been a while since I've done one of these reviews, these videos. This is um, the review for Power Rangers Dino Fury episode 13. The episode was titled Super Hot Shot, you guys. So before we get into this review, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on this channel or the other channel, I need you guys to do me just a big favor. Actually, do me a big favor. Go subscribe to the other channel for sure. Subscribe to that one. It's JB, JB apostrophe S. I think it's JB Cyberspace. I'll put it up here on the. I'll try to put it up here on the screen for you guys somewhere, so you guys can see it. But it's J. I think it's JB Cyberspace, and the link is also going to be down in the description bar below as well. So you can click on the link, and then also if you guys go follow me on Twitter. It's underscore JB says what I'll also have a direct link I'll, I'll try to have it pinned in my tweets so that way you guys can go and subscribe to that channel as well so with that out the way let's go ahead and discuss episode 13 of Power Rangers Dino Fury it's actually been I hate I mean it's been nice not talking about Dino Fury lately it you know just dealing with the fandom it's very it's been toxic lately but it's, we're back. I'm back. And I know, I think I heard that next Friday, the whole entire season is going to be up on Netflix. I don't think that I'm going to watch it on Netflix. I think I'm just going to continue to watch it every Saturday on Nickelodeon and then just do, and or I might, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. You guys might get the reviews every Saturday, just like normal. We'll figure it out as time goes by. But with that out of the way, let's discuss episode 13 of Dino Fury. Honestly, the guys, the episode was a little mad to me, but we'll get through it, right? So we, the episode, we see the team as they're in the park and they're working out, right? So then Warden Garcia comes up and he's talking to Izzy. So he's talking to Izzy because Izzy has gone around the house and she has left these brochures for him about this particular gym that she wants to go and train with the person there, right? So... Like I said, she left the brochures around the house and, he, you know, she's telling him she wants to go and train. And she's like, you know, you can give me my allowance early. You know, you can up my allowance just a little bit. And she's pleading with him, you know, about do going to this gym. So he agrees to it. And it was interesting to me the fact that Warden Garcia agreed to Izzy going to this, you know, gym to train with this coach. Right. But if we go back to the first half of the season, He's not very supportive of Javi with his music thing, right? You know, he had a big issue with Javi and his guitar, and it's really interesting, right? It's a it's a it's a stark comparison when you think when you look at how he treats Izzy versus how he treats Javi. It's a big difference, and I wonder what is the issue? Like, what's the big what's the big deal, right? Like, why is it so easy for you to be so supportive of Izzy and her sports endeavors? but not be so supportive of Javi with his musical talent. Like, it's just very interesting to, you know, it's just really, really interesting when you think about that aspect, that he is so supportive of Izzy, but not of Javi. And I do hope that if not in, if not in this first season, at least in a second, we get deeper into what the reasoning is. Like, because it's very interesting to me, right? So meanwhile, we see Slyther and Mucus, right? So Slyther and Mucus, they're at this cell phone tower, right? And what they're going to do is they're going to hack into the cell phone tower so that way, anytime someone calls the Ranger hotline to, you know, report a spore exciting, Slyther and Mucus will intercept that phone call. That way they will be the ones that'll go get the Sporex for Void Knight instead of the Rangers getting the, the, um, getting the Sporex, which is actually a smart idea, right? Very smart. I don't know why they hadn't thought about this before now, but it's a very good idea that they'll get they'll get the phone call and they'll get the sports. I'm like, okay, I'm here for it. You guys know I love this team up between Mucus and um, Slyther. So anything between Mucus and Slyther, I absolutely love it. But you guys, let's pause here and we're going to move on forward. All right, you guys. So next up, Zato and Izzy. So I didn't mention that. So everyone was talking about with the gym that Izzy wanted to go to. The only person that agreed to go with her was Zato. 
So she and Zato, they go to the gym and they're, they, we, that's where we meet Coach Bella, we meet Fern, and we meet Adrian, right? And I do know that, I'm, unfortunately, I saw some of the steals from the international airing. So I do know about Fern. I know, what do I know from the I know about Fern from the international spoilers. I know a little bit of, I don't know everything, but I do know a little bit about Boyd Knight. And that's it. Because I've been off of Twitter because, you know, I stopped tweeting. I stopped, I stopped, actually I stopped talking about Power Rangers after June. That was when episodes 9 through 11 aired on Netflix. That was literally the last time that I thought about Power Rangers. But I have some, some followers that tweet about Power Rangers a lot. And I just had to kind of get away from Power Rangers because it was just, it's a lot of negativity when it comes to Power Rangers. You know, people people complain about the negativity, but then they also are a part of the negativity. Just saying. So Izzy and Zato, they're at the gym, right? Like I said, they're at the gym, they're doing this, this, this workout, right? Then at the end of it, Coach Bella says, well, that's the end of the free trial. I'm like, what gym is this that they went to where the free trial is just for one day? Most gyms that you go to, if they give you a free trial, they give you a free trial for, a, you know, maybe a week or so to see if you really like it. But one day, no, you can't, I can't tell you, yeah, I want to work out with you every day after just one day of working out with you. Like, I, that doesn't work for me, right? So, Coach Bella tells them that if you want to take the class, that you got to, you know, go, go, go pay for the class. So, everyone starts to go pay for the class. So when people started paying for the class, that's when she hit them with the okie doke. So the okie doke was that on top of you paying for this class, you got to get the uniform that goes with the class. And Adrian, Adrian is up there. He's like, well, my parents only gave me enough money so that I can pay for the class and not the uniform. So Adrian has on this watch, right? And she notices his watch. She's like, well, the watch that you have on right there. Yeah, that one. What I'll do is if you give me that watch, you can then get the uniform i was like oh that's jacked up man like you gonna you gonna take homies watch like that like that ain't right he was like this watch has he was saying, trying to say it has sentimental meaning to him right she's like well, what's more important like do you want to get in this class or is it that watch so adrian parts with his watch i'm like bruh i would have never parted with something that's sentimental and we're definitely going to talk about the sentimental value of that watch a little bit later so we're going to move on you guys all right, you guys, so we see the Rangers and they're just, you know, casually strolling through the city, right? Now, while they're doing that, they run into Slyther. And Slyther, you know, he blasts at him and that actually ripped Izzy's suit because Izzy was able to get her suit. And, you know, back, to, let's go a little bit back. So Izzy was, you know, talking about how much the suit, cost, you know, uniform costs, right? And Zato was talking about it as well, like, this is a little pricey. And it was in that moment that I was like, wait a minute, where does Zato get his money from? Like, I was confused this entire episode. Zato, where is Zato getting any mon money from? Because you guys remember, when we first met Izzy and Javi, Javi and, and, and Zato were going out for the same job at Buzz Blast. Javi got the job at Buzz Blast. So where in the hell is Zato working at that Zato is making money to buy uniforms for a class and actually pay for said class just interesting right so slyther called on the henchman to battle you know so the henchman and the, so the rangers do more and they start to battle with the henchman and with slyther so the rangers are getting the best of the henchman you know just kicking the henchman ass right left and right kicking kicking the ass right so then we see zato he is battling with slyther so Slyther's like, you know what, I've had enough of this shit, so you know what, at this point, it's time for me to, you know, ixnay and leave, right? So Slyther, he ends up leaving with the Sporex that he got, right? So back at the gym, we see Izzy. So Izzy is talking to Adrian, and we find out a little bit more about Adrian's watch, right? Like I said, his watch was given to him by his grandfather, so that's the sentimental meaning. I'm like, damn, man, you parted with your watch that your grandfather gave you? all this for a uniform like it me personally i would have said you know what if you want me to have this uniform 
like what's wrong with what I have on like we're gonna sweat we're gonna get dirt we're gonna get dirty we're gonna sweat we're gonna stink what's so special about this 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 um uniform does it keep me from sweating does it keep me from like what does it do is it sweat resistant sweat proof like what is it so we see everyone are starting to work out and the, they're working out in the gym right we see fern she's working out we see adrian he's working out and you know we see coach bella as she's coming through and she's just gassing everybody up oh my god you're the best like you should do this she's just gassing everybody up telling them that they're the best in the class right meanwhile zato overhears this so she goes up to izzy she notices that it, she's talking to Izzy and she notices that Izzy's uniform has a, you know, a rip in it, right? And she's telling her, oh, your uniform has a rip in it. And Izzy's like, yeah, I can patch it up. She's like, oh, no, you can't do that. You're going to have to buy a new one. I would have told her, look, her lady, I already spent the arm and the leg for this damn thing. I'm not about to spend no more money for this, this, this uniform. Like, miss me with the what? The boo. Yeah, miss me with the BS. Like, I'm not gonna spend no more money on no damn uniform. It already cost a grip. What I'm gonna go home and do is I'm gonna get my knitting, my, my needle, I'm gonna sew it up, patch it up. You ain't gonna know the difference. So mind your business. Like, that, that's what I would've told her, basically. So, then we move over to Buzz Blast. This is gonna be real quick. At Buzz Blast, we see Jane and Jay Borg, right? So Jane has created this cyber coach and basically it worked at first because, you know, she's on the treadmill. So she, she asked for a towel. It gives her a towel. She says she's thirsty. She opens her mouth and it squirts water into her mouth, right? Well, that didn't go right because if you, I guess if you hold, hold your mouth open too long, it thinks you want some water. So it squirted her with some water and she's all glistening so it shot her with about you know 12 plus towels so i'm like yeah that was a that was a bust so now we're gonna move on you guys all right you guys so we see zato zato is talking to izzy and zato is expressing his concerns about coach bella he feels that coach bella is not who she is saying she is right because he overheard Coach Bella telling every other person in the gym that they are the best. And that, you know, so he's telling her that, right? But Izzy is saying, no, I don't think that, you know, I don't. Basically, Izzy's telling him she didn't, he didn't, he doesn't know what he heard because she's talking about how Coach Bella is the best. I'm like, she might be the best, but she is, in fact, you know, gassing people up, telling them that they are, which I get that. If you go to a gym, and you're working out with somebody you would want your trainer to tell you you're doing a good job right you would definitely want it so it's not necessarily a bad thing but it's not the best thing either like you would want your trainer to tell you yes you're doing good keep it up but the way that coach bella is doing it basically just lying to people that's an issue so izzy is once again talking about you know the fact that she has remember the rip and she has to get a new one. So she's talking to the, the team about it. So everyone at this point has decided that they're going to chip in. And once again, um, even Zato pulled out his wallet and it looked like it was a Velcro wallet. I was just, I'm still sitting there thinking to myself, where in the hell did Zato get this money from? Is he selling plasma? Is he part of a research group? Like what is Zato doing for money, right? So then we see Izzy. So Izzy goes back to the gym to get her, her new suit, right? So she goes into Coach Bella's office. Coach Bella has on, literally she has on Adrian's watch. So Izzy points that out. And basically in a nutshell, Coach Bella calls Adrian a fool for even giving it up just for this class. And Izzy, it was at that point that Izzy's like, oh, so you're just doing this for the money, basically. So Coach Bella, wanted, she before that happened, she told Izzy that she wanted her to be a trainer there, right? And Izzy was thinking about it, but then once Coach Bella put her foot in her mouth, Izzy was like, yeah, on that no, sis, it's a no for me, right? So she bought back Adrian's watch, and then when she left, she ran into Javi, right? So she was telling Javi what happened, and they got a phone call from Warden Garcia. So Ward Garcia is telling them about a sporex that was spotted in Evergreen Park and for them not to go. So they were like, okay. 
So they were like, why didn't Solon call us? So they called Solon, they asked Solon about this, and Solon was like, we never even got a call here about a Sporix, so don't know too much about that. So Izzy and Hobby, they're gonna go and check out that, you know, they're gonna go to every room park to check that out, right? So they go to Evergreen Park. Once they get to Evergreen Park, they find Mucus, Slyther, and the Sporex by the name of Smoghorn there, right? So Izzy and Javi, they, I think it was Javi that stepped on a branch. And once he stepped on a branch, that's when Slyther hurt them and blasted toward them. So they then morphed and then they are starting about, they're battling with Slyther. Meanwhile, Mucus and Smoghorn, they left. Now back over at the base, we have Solon, Ollie, Amelia, and Zato, right? And they're just trying to figure out like, why haven't we gotten any phone calls from the hotline? So Amelia uses her phone to call the hotline. And that's when Mucus and Smoghorn, they're back at the hacked phone line. So Mucus answers the phone and she's pretending to be the Red Ranger. <laughs> you guys know I love Mucus. Love me some Mucus. So she's pretending to be the Red Ranger. So Amelia tells her about a fake Sporic sighting, right? So Mucus and Smallcorn go to where the, where they said that the, the um, Sporic Beast was, right? So that's when Ollie, Amelia, and Zato find, you know, meet them there, right? So <laughs> twice in, in this episode, Mucus is like, you know what? Battle ensues, I gotta go. So she leaves Smallcorn there to battle with Ollie, Zato, and Amelia. Now, while they're battling with him, Smallcorn lets out a big gust of, of, of smoke, right? Engulfing Ali, Zato, and Amelia. And he eventually leaves, right? So then they leave to go back and help fight with Slyther, you know, help Javi and Izzy with Slyther, right? So they use a, the dino, what well, they use a dagger. Is it a dino dagger? I think that's what it's called, the dino dagger. So they start throwing it. They've been, they were throwing it left and right. So eventually they did you know, destroy the hacked phone line. So then back at the base, that is when Solon showed them that, you know, that she's created this, you know, this hack where they can't hack, you know, they can't hack it anymore if they try, even if they tried it, right? So then we go to the park where Coach Bella told the, um, the, the, the class to meet her, right? So Izzy has given Adrian his, his watch back, right? And then she, puts Coach Bella on blast asking everyone, hey, has Coach Bella told you, has she told anybody that you guys are the best? And they were like, yeah, she told me. She told me. She told me. It's kind of like if you guys ever watched that movie Mean Girls, you know, has anybody ever been per personally victimized by Regina George and everyone raised their hands? That's kind of how that was, right? So Coach Slyther tries to, you know, tries to gaslight Izzy saying that, you know, she's, she's, she's not that good. She's this, she's that. No, you told everybody that. So at this point, Coach Bella's out, Izzy's in, and that's the end of the episode, you guys. So let me know what you guys thought about episode, is this 12? Episode 12, it, I might've said 13, but it's episode 12. It'll be, it's episode 12, not 13. It's episode 12 of Dino Fury. So that's it, you guys. Be safe out there. Take care of yourselves, Ranger, Ranger Nation. Wash your hands, socially distance, be blessed, and I'm going to see you guys in the next one. So like I said, I, well, next Saturday, I'll see you guys again next Saturday for episode 13. I don't know if I'm on, I don't know if I'm going to binge watch them on Netflix and record the episode reviews and then just post them their subsequent week of airing. I don't know if I'm going to do that. So if you, if you guys do see me and I'm in the same clothes, not this week, but if you got going forward, after next Friday, if you guys see me in the same outfit, that means that I binge watched it and I, I pre-recorded the reviews and I'm just going to post them each and every Saturday. But that's it, you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. And also, you guys, be sure to go over to JB, JB underscore, JB apostrophe S cyberspace. That link is in the description bar below. I'll see you guys later. Bye.